In this video, I will show you how to do boot Fight OS and Windows 11 on any PC or laptop. Fight OS is a fast, user friendly operating system that enhances the Chrome OS experience by adding flexibility, including support for running Android applications and Linux distributions. This is a complete step by step tutorial on do booting Windows 11 with Fight OS. Be sure to watch the video until the end to avoid any confusion. Also, don't forget to check out the description for more information. This guide has been recently updated to provide one of the safest methods for setting up a do boot on any Windows computer without risking data loss. However, it's strongly recommended to back up your most important data to the cloud or external media. The only requirements of this video a PC or laptop with UEFI support, an 8 gigs or higher USB drive to create a bootable disk with Fight OS, and lastly, at least 40 GB of free disk space. Now, for this demonstration, I will be using my HP gaming laptop to install Fight OS along the side of Windows 11 as a part of dual boot setup. The process will be similar for any PC or laptop. That being said, now let's create a partition for Fight OS. Right click on the desktop, open terminal and run this command to open Disk Manager. Now this tool shows all connected drives and their partitions. In my case, one drive is connected. If you notice, drive 0 has three partitions. The first one is the EFI partition, where contains the Windows bootloader. The second one is the main Windows, and the last is the recovery partition. I'm going to choose the C drive to shrink the free space for Fight OS. In your case, it might be D, E, or F, whatever. Just choose the partition and right click on it. Now choose Shrink Volume and allocate a minimum of 40 GB or higher for Fight OS. You can type the value in megabytes. In my case, I'm going to allocate 190 GB and click on Shrink. This will create unallocated free space. Then right click on the free space and choose to create a new volume and name it whatever you want. And that's it. Now we have done creating a partition for Fight OS. Then head over to Fight OS website and download the latest version. Now keep in mind that Fight OS is not compatible with Nvidia GPUs, but works much better with Intel and AMD GPUs. If you have an Intel CPU with HD integrated graphics from 3rd to 7th generation, Select the first option. If you have an Intel CPU with HD or Iris graphics from 8th to 13th generation, select the second option. And lastly, if you have 2011 or later Intel or AMD CPU with iGPUs or AMD Radeon GPUs, choose the last option. Since my laptop has AMD Ryzen 5 with Radeon graphics, I will select the last option to download the image file. Next up, head over to this website and download the Bellina Etcher. Once both files are downloaded, Place them on your computer for easier navigation. Now extract the Fight OS image. Then open Bellina HR. Connect your USB drive to your computer. Then select Flash from File and import the Fight OS image. Now choose your USB drive as the target and click Flash. 
wait for the flashing process to complete. This may take several minutes depending on your USB drive lighting speed. Now go ahead and reboot your computer. While it's rebooting, you need to enter into BIOS settings. Now use the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9 or the escape key. The first thing to do after entering into BIOS is to enable USB boot. Now go ahead and disable secure boot which is very important. It's also better to clear any keys or certificates after disabling the secure boot. This way it won't cause any installation problems with Fight OS. Then change the boot order by setting the USB drive as the primary boot. Once it's done, save the changes. Now your system will boot into Fight OS from the USB drive. If in case it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load Fight OS install media. Now when you're inside the live setup of Fight OS, choose your language and keyboard layout. Then click on get started. Now the Fight OS installer will present two options. Install Fight OS or try it before installing. It's always a better practice to try it before installing it and see how it works. For now, I chose to install Fight OS. If in case you want to install Fight OS by erasing Windows, use the first option. But for now, we are installing Fight OS alongside with Windows 11. I'm going to choose the multi boot installation. Then select the free space as the target partition. Now choose the one you have created earlier. Then choose the EFR partition. Select Windows EFR partition. Now select this option to install Refined Bootloader. Once it's done, click on Install. Now sit back and relax. The installation will take some time depending on the speed of the drop. Once it's done, go ahead and shut down your computer. Then remove the USB drive. Once the screen goes black, press the power button to turn on the computer. You will see the refined boot menu. Now from here, you can boot into Windows 11 or Fight OS. During the initial setup, I noticed my Wi-Fi was not working. To resolve this, I connected Ethernet cable for internet access. Now, once you're inside Fight OS, the first thing to do is to enable the Android subsystem. To do so, open Settings and navigate to Fight OS Settings. Then enable Developer Mode. Click Confirm and restart your computer. Then open built-in terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T. Now this is the developer shell for Fight OS. Then type shell and press enter to access the shell environment. Then enter sudo i to get root permissions and execute this command to turn off root file system and then reboot your system.
This step is crucial before enabling Android subsystem. Then open the Android application from the start menu. Accept the terms and conditions and click launch to install the Android subsystem. Once installed, go to the App Store and install Open Gaps to enable Google Play services. Once it's enabled, restart your system. Now you will get access to the Google Play Store. Now go ahead and log in with your Google account. You can now install Android apps and video games on your system. I tested a few games like Subway Surfers and they worked flawlessly. It's time to set up a Linux subsystem which allows you to run desktop applications like VS Code, Android Studio, and much more. To get started, open Settings. Select Linux and click Setup. On the Setup screen, you will need to create a VM. Go ahead and allocate the desired space for the Linux system. Ensure it's at least 10 GB and then click Install. Now wait for Debian Linux to install. Once completed, a terminal window will appear. As you can see, it's running Debian 12 Bookworm. Next, update the system by running this command. After updating, you can install any application or package you need. All the Linux GUI applications will automatically appear in the start menu of Fight OS. It's also recommended to set up a flat pack to install wide range of applications. To do so, enter into super user mode by running this command, then install this command to install flat pack. Then go to this page, choose Debian and copy the flat hub repository URL and paste it inside the terminal. Now keep in mind that you need to be a root user to install or run Flatpak applications. If you want to install .deb packages, go ahead and download the .deb package from the internet. Then open files. Go to downloads and move the .deb file to the Linux files. Then open the terminal and verify the package is present by running ls. Now, I can simply run this command to install any Debian-based package. Replace the package name with the name of your downloaded dev file. Now, as a bonus part of the video, if in case you don't like Fight OS and decided to uninstall, then reboot your computer to Windows 11. Once you are inside Windows 11, open the terminal by right-clicking on the desktop and type this command to open the Disk Manager. Here, in my case, next to the C drive, there is one partition coded as raw. We need to delete this partition. 
Simply right click and choose delete. Then you can merge back the free space to Windows 11. It's time to delete the refined bootloader. To do so, open the command prompt and run it as administrator. Inside here, type disk part, then type list disk. Now, as you can see, this is my main draw where the EFR partition is located. I'm gonna select this draw by typing this command, then type list partition, and it's gonna show all of the partitions present inside this draw. We need to look for a partition named as system also known as the EFR partition. In my case, it's the first one. Select this partition by typing this command, then assign any drive letter to mount this partition. Once the drive letter is assigned to the EFR partition, type exit from the disk part. Now type this drive letter with the colon assigned for the EFR partition, which in my case is the letter R, and press the written key. Now type cd space efi to change the directory into the efi partition. Then again type dir to see the contents of this folder. Here you can see both Windows and Fight OS bootable files. Now go ahead and remove these three folders by running this command, which indeed is going to remove all of the boot files related to Fight OS. Now restart the computer and you can see the system should boot into Windows 11 without any issues. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly do boot Windows 11 with Fight OS on any PC or laptop. Let me know your thoughts or opinions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Rial. I will see you in the next one.